Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to another subscription box Sunday. So today I am going to be unboxing the Kiwi Eco box for November as well as the Tea Pray Love box for November. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I do lots of different subscription box unboxing videos here. So if you're a sub box lover like me or just wanna to get to learn more about subscription boxes, go ahead and subscribe. And here on Sundays, I unbox a bunch of different boxes together. This weekend, it's only two because it's kind of the slow period for subscription boxes. So I don't have as many this week, but I think there'll be two good boxes. I'm out of breath. It's because I just put the fitted sheet on my bed. <laughs> that was a lot of effort. Um, and I'm also still like in the spooky mood so I have a Bride of Frankenstein shirt on. I'm like Halloween is over but like I don't want it to be over yet. I don't know. It is what it is. I'm just gonna be spooky for a couple more days and then I'll switch into Thanksgiving mode. Now both of the boxes here were sent to me for review so I did not pay for either of these boxes. I think I'll get into the Kiwi Eco box first. Now I really like this box. This box helps you live zero waste or you know lower your waste. Um, everything in here is biodegradable and you get five to seven plastic free products that just help you live a more eco-conscious lifestyle. The price of this box is $24.99 a month, and I do have a coupon code down below where you can get 25% off of your first box. So I'm super excited to get into the November box. Both of these are November boxes. Um, it's crazy, like how did we get to November? Like when did that happen? I'm so confused, but whatever. It's just, it's a very weird year. So this is what it looks like when you open it up. So their pamphlet or their card is done on the phone so that they don't have to waste a piece of paper, which I do appreciate. So each month you do get new items and sometimes you get refills in the box too. I'm not sure whether we get refills this month or not, but we'll see. So just as an FYI, this specific box, the November box is on sale until November 12th. So if you really like this box, you have until the 12th to get it. The very first thing that I'm pulling out, I am super intrigued by. So this is a Sprout pencil. Um, so what does it do? So it's the first ever plantable pencil and it's made of a sustainable wood and a look like a classic pencil, except the, in the place of an eraser tip, the pencil has a small biodegradable capsule full of basil seeds. When you're done using the pencil, you simply poke the eraser end of the pencil into a small bo uh, pot or soil to get it started. Whoa, that is so cool. Now this is basil, which I love basil. My, of course, my basil is kind of dying right now, so I need to take it out. It's, it's outside in the cold. Um, but you use the pot with drainage holes in the bottom. You place it in a saucer filled with moisture potting soil. You plant at a 30 degree angle with the seed capsule only covered in soil. Um, you water off it until the saucer gets moist. Place in the pot with natural light, but avoid direct sunlight. Um, and about 68 degrees Fahrenheit is ideal. And then you water it regularly, and the first shoot should appear between one and four weeks later. <gasps> that is, whoops, let me just drop my phone, which is what I'm reading from. That is so cool. I'm really excited about that. Um, I love that you can kind of use the pencil for another thing. If you don't want to use the pencil, I'm guessing you could probably just plant the sprouts, too, if you just want to separate that. But I think that that's so cool. I love that. Um, very excited to plant some basil. All right, the next thing that I'm pulling out comes in this, like, metal case. Ooh, I think this is a tongue scraper here. I'm gonna not touch it with my fingers because I want it to be sterile when I put it in my mouth at some point. Um, but this is, yeah, this is a tongue scraper and travel case. So the stainless metal tongue scraper cleaner has a smooth surface, which is very easy to clean and um, reuse and will not cause any damage to your tongue. Comes with a free travel case to ensure more hygiene and convenient collection. That's really cool. It's made of new generation, high grade medical grade stainless steel and can deeply remove oral dirt, reduce bad breath and improve oral health. Interesting. I have heard a lot about like tongue scrapers, but I've never used one like this. I have like the ones with plastic, which obviously they're trying to avoid use of plastic with their subscription. So I'm super cute, cool to try. I'm super cool to try this out. No, that's not what I was trying to say. I'm super interested to try this out and see how it works. I am super excited for the next thing here. So this is a set of six silicone lids. Now, basically, there's a bunch of different sizes here. I we might have gotten these in another box before because I think these are the same ones that I have and I love these. These are great. So like let's say you have a can that you've opened and you only use half of it. Instead of like putting aluminum foil or saran wrap, you can just put this over it and when you're done, you can just wash it and reuse it and you don't have to waste stuff each time. I really, really love these and I'm super excited to get another set. I think my mom wanted some of these. Um, we were at Ikea and they had like a small set of these, um, but this is really, really cool and I'm super excited to have more. And I think this is a bigger set than what I have. 
So that's really awesome. So it's 100% food grade silicone. That's it's dishwasher and freezer safe. It's also microwave and heat resistant to 450 degrees and will come out the way you saw it. I think I've hand washed these rather than putting them in the dishwasher, but I've, I've used mainly the small ones. And so I'm afraid they'll like fall down or like get where they're not supposed to be and like melt all over the bottom of the dishwasher or something. That just might be me having like an irrational fear or something, but I really, really love these. and I'm so excited to have more. Ooh, we have a natural deodorant. Okay, and I use natural deodorant. So this is by Honey Bee and this is their lavender natural deodorant. This I guess has a push up tube. Now I use natural deodorant. If you're gonna switch to natural deodorant, just know that there is a detox phase that you go through. And, um, it's not always fun to go through that, but it is better, supposedly better than um, regular deodorants. Oh, this has a push-up tube. So do you just like push from the bottom? I don't want to like mess it up right now, but it does have a push-up tube. It smells really nice. I will say I've been having a really hard time with my armpits lately, and I know that that's a, maybe a TMI or really random thing to talk about, but I found a natural deodorant that I love. Um, it's the best one that I found, and all of a sudden my armpits have started to break down a rash when I use it. I don't know if it's because when I use it or if it's because like, so all natural deodorants are are not antiperspirants, which means you're still gonna sweat. And I don't know if just, I wasn't wearing the right shirt and it wasn't absorbing or like, I, I don't know, but I broke out in rashes. So I've been using powder under my arms instead of deodorant. I've been so obsessed with the Bath Bevy's powder, body powder. That's what I've been using, the mango one. And that's been getting me through it, but I want to try another natural deodorant, but they're very hit or miss is what I found. So I'm super excited to try this one out for sure. Um, this is cold press. It has unref an unrefined, has virgin coconut oil and antimicrobial moisturizing rich in vitamin E. Um, it's aluminum free, paraben free, 100% organic and handmade. And this is in lavender. The one I've been using or that I was using was lavender too. So I'm excited to try this out and hopefully it'll work for me because I'm just like struggling with my armpits and I don't want to have to go back to just non-natural deodorant if I can help it. But if my armpits keep breaking out in a rash, I might have no choice. I don't know. I don't know what it is that's causing it, but here we are. Okay, the next thing looks interesting. It could be like a torture device. I don't know. This is not, it is, it's not actually. So this is a Sissel back strap. Oh, it helps you clean your back and exfoliate. So I guess you like, you know, um, that's kind of cool. I will, I have to be careful in my back right now because I did pull it out last week and it's still like, I'm, I'm almost 100%. I'm still slightly recovering. So I probably won't use this yet. Um, it's easy to clean and you can um, scrub it after use. The towel can be folded or hung for easy storage um, and it can revitalize your skin when you take the shower. Interesting. I wonder if you can like wash this because, but I'm not sure. It does feel a little bit scruffy, but I'll, I'll be excited to try it out. I haven't tried something like that on my back before, but I feel like that would be a good thing, particularly in winter when your skin gets more dry, just to kind of lather it off. But then of course you probably want to lo put lotion on your back if you do use this, just to make sure it does stay moisturized. That's really cool. I don't own anything like it. And then last but not least, we have a loofah sponge. I think we've gotten one of these before, but again, this is the like to replace things um, as well. And these are really awesome. So this is a natural loofah sponge. Um, sponge scrubber that provides a clean, environmentally friendly, and portable kitchen cleaning brush. So when you get water on it, it puffs up and it turns into a sponge. Obviously, this is 100% biodegradable. There's no plastic in it, which is super duper awesome. Sponges obviously are usually made with lots of plastic. I definitely like these for scrubbing things off because um, I haven't used them before. So this will last you between four and five weeks. Um, so that's why you receive it every other month to substitute your old one out and um, without harm to the environment. So this is one of the replacement products that you get. It does have a little thing where you can hang it. Um, and I'm really excited to get another one. So that is everything that I got in the Kiwi Ego box for November 2020. I thought this was an awesome box. I'm always impressed by this box. Um, maybe it's because I'm getting a lot of things that I've never really gotten before, but I just feel like it's a really awesome box. I think the price is great for what you get. And again, it helps you live a more eco-friendly lifestyle. And I think that there, that's just so awesome. And I love the concept behind it. So again, I have that 25% off coupon down below. All right, and now we will get into the Tea Pray Love box. I believe that, the, yeah, this is a November box and it's $39.95 a month. I can't remember if I've unboxed this before. It's been a while, but they reached back out to me. I may have unboxed it like once before, like a year or so ago. I can't remember. You guys probably know better than me. Um, so let's get inside. It's like a wellness box from what I remember. I feel like my coffee wore off and like it's gone and I, my energy is just like, whoa, I'm exhausted from yesterday. Um, it was a really busy day. So 
So when you open it up, that is what it looks like. So they sent me the Premier box, um, and this is the coffee version. So I think they have a tea version and a coffee version maybe. Um, they said that they also offer a petite box for $29.95. So the one that I'm opening is the $39.95 one, um, and you can also get the petite version. So they have the tea version and the coffee version. Um, and I also have a 10% off code down below where you can get obviously 10% off of your first box. So they have a little like note to the subscribers. So it says as 2020 comes to an end, I challenge you to work towards a more mindful and peaceful 2021. Choose joy, live with intention, embrace the moment and make time for you so that your cup can be filled. I love that. And I think, you know, 2020 has put, has made all of us have a different perspective on life and things. I've been focusing more on doing things that make me happy. Um, I do get anxiety and things like that and so kind of this year I've been like if I, if it doesn't bring me joy and it brings me anxiety I'm gonna avoid it and you know sometimes you do have to push yourself out of your box I'm not saying don't do it but for me it's been focusing on that because there's been a lot of stuff that have gone on in my life this year that have been negative and so I'm trying to keep a very positive outlook with happiness around me anyway enough of my rambling let's look at the first product which is this here this is by Ode and this is a hand and body lotion um, this retails for $24. Now, in the petite box, you would have gotten a Ode and Body Wash, Ode a Hand and Body Wash for $18. Um, or the other thing that you could have gotten in the Premier box was the Ode Olive and Shea Butter Cream for $30. But I got the body lotion for $24. And this is in the Bohemian Rose scent. So the, this luxurious emollient lotion blends in the skin calming benefits of olive and grapeseed oils with the powers of hyaluronic acid and potent botanical extracts. Um, hyaluronic acid helps with keeping the moisture in. Let me open this up. I want to see what the actual packaging looks like. Okay, fancy packaging. Ooh, that is really, really pretty. Now I'm curious to smell what ro the rose smell is like because I'm picky with rose scents. Oh, that's actually not that bad. That has a very natural rose scent, um, but I don't mind that at all, actually. I actually kind of like that. It's not like, rose can have, can, can come off smelling old, if that makes sense, like outdated, I don't know. But this one doesn't, smells very like n natural nature rose, if that makes sense. I'm not really sure how to describe it, but I really like the way that smells. Um, and I think the packaging is really pretty too. It does have a little protector so that you can't pump it by accident. Um, but Ode Natural Beauty products are curated selection of bath, body, and skincare that's all made with the owner's early harvest extra virgin olive oil, which is full of powerful skin-loving antioxidants. Um, so that's really cool. So I'm excited to try this. I love getting body lotions, um, especially for this time of the year when um, the weather gets cooler and skin gets drier. You need to make sure you're moisturizing your skin more. So I think that's a perfect thing to put in a November box. If you get this box as well, did you get like the rose scent or did they have other scents? I'm curious. I wonder if other people got different scents. So the next thing that I'm pulling out is some coffee and this is by Fidelago Coffee and this is their Fidelago Gold Coffee. Um, now it does say here that you would... Um, influencers may receive this instead. So I think most people would have gotten Kuza coffee for $6, which is a premium cold brew coffee in seconds, made with high elevation of 100% Ar Arabica beans from the Rainforest Alliance certified coffee plantation that practices fully regenerative agriculture and organic farming practices. So I got this instead. Unfortunately, this doesn't say a lot about this coffee. So I'll have to like Google this when I want to make it. Um, but this is the coffee that I received. I do like to drink coffee, but I tend to stay with coffee that's a little less caffeinated just because of my anxiety. And I'm, I only drink like one cup a day. I don't like to have a lot of caffeine, but it is nice to have a boost in the morning because I'm super productive in the morning. And when I have coffee in the morning, I'm like extra, extra productive. I get so much done. So um, I'll have to read a little bit more about this coffee. The next thing I'm pulling out is this here, and this is Love London's Natural Body Scrub. This is a vanilla orange. Ooh, whoa, that sounds amazing. Um, and this retails for $7.50. So it's designed to use on wet skin, whether in the shower, sink, or bath. You can apply a quarter size or more to your hand and massage onto wet skin, and you rub until your heart's desire, then rinse warm with water. Um, it's made with vanilla and essential, and orange essentials, and will leave your skin feeling silky smooth and moisturized. So it has sugar and coconut oil in it. Oh, I love scrubs. Probably will use this more in the bath. Um, and it looks like a sugar scrub, which is better for your skin um, than a lot of others because it's not as harsh, especially when the water, it starts to dissolve and stuff like that. So very excited. 
I don't want to open it yet, but so I can't smell it, but I bet it smells amazing. The next thing that I'm pulling out is Vivu, and I think I've gotten one of these before. This is the Wellness App four pack test strips, which is a $24.99 value. So this is a wellness assistant that consists of your analysis test. Yeah, you pee on these sticks and it tells you about yourself in the app. I'm too nervous to use this. I think I gave these to my sister and she used them the last time I got them. Maybe I'll give them to her again. I feel weird about like peeing on a stick and having information in an app about it. But I think if that's something you're into, I think it is actually a really cool thing. I'm not exactly sure how it works. Um, so it'll track your body parameters like water consumption, urinary pH, ketones, urinary tract infections, liver and kidney functions, uh, tells you if you're hydrated enough, and also whether you're eating well, having a balanced chemistry, or possibly having an infection, and much more. So I do think that this could be very beneficial. I'm just like terrified of my data, if that makes sense, like being out there. So it's a very interesting thing. I think it's a little bit polarizing if you'd want to use it or not. Um, but again, it is really cool and a neat product. So I forgot to mention that if you were to get the tea box, you would have gotten the Octavia tea. Um, which is smaller or bigger depending on if you get the petite or premier box or you would have gotten the cup and kettle tea Which would have only been in the premier box. So there are different teas that you could have received I obviously just got the coffee box. So I got coffee now. There's always I guess a little additional things that you get too um, so this I got two of the Apivita Express Beauty Face Masks. These are honey face masks. They're moisturizing and nourishing. So that's what they look like. There's two like little packets of them. I do like this for on the go. This is so much easier if you're traveling. These would be great if you're flying, which not a lot of people are right now, but when flying is safe again, um, when traveling is safe again, these would be great because in the airplanes, usually it takes some of the moisture out of your, your um, face, skin. I don't know. So these would be good. Um, you apply a rich layer onto clean skin, avoiding eye area. You leave on for 10 minutes, use one to two times per, per week. So I think that's a really great for on the go. And then also we have the Pure Raw Honey Sticks from the Bee Box, and this is the Clover variety. I love getting these because they are the perfect size like to put in a tea. Well, I might use half, but because um, sometimes one is too sugary for me. I try to, I've been trying to drink tea without sugar when I do drink tea. Um, but it doesn't always taste as good. But that, you get three of those there. So I think that's an awesome addition for a tea box. And then last but not least, only comes in the Premier box. And it's a book. And it is like a hefty book. It also comes with a bookmark. So the bookmark says, find a reason to smile today. It has tea, pray, love on the bottom with that side with the beautiful flowers. On the back, it says, don't let the world dim your light. I love that. Honestly, little positive things like that are so nice to have. I'm not a big like person on like quotes and things like I'm just not that kind of person. But I feel like right now it's still nice to have like nice little quotes. Now this book I actually think is a very good book for this box. And this is the A Mindful Year 365 ways to find connection in the sacred and everyday life. This retails for $16.99. So it kind of helps you um, reconnect to yourself and your I guess this is the best tested set of practices for alleviating stress and anxiety. All right, I yeah, <laughs> I will be reading this. I need this. I think a lot of people could use this right now. So I think that this is a perfect thing to put in the box. It makes a lot of sense in a wellness box like this. And it's like, like I said, this is like a hefty mama. She's big. She's like almost 500 pages. She's like 465 pages. So it's a big book. This book invites you to start a new pattern, one that begins taking just a few quiet moments to reconnect with what is most important each day. Um, which I think is really, really awesome. And I'm excited to read that. So that is everything that I received in the Tea Pray Love Box for November. Definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And again, I do have that code for 10% off. How is everybody doing? I feel like a check-in is, is a good thing to do in these subscription box Sunday videos. Um, I, I feel like most of the viewers to these videos are probably people who have been subscribed to my channel for a while. And if you're new, welcome. Uh, welcome to the team, to the club. Um, I... It's been a struggle this year, and I think a lot of people, obviously, everybody's going through different things. Um, part of me wants to fast forward to 2021, and part of me wants to enjoy these last few months, because for me, these are the most festive months. I know not everybody celebrates the holidays that fall in these next few months, um, but I'm just, like, ready for it. I'm ready to relax. I have this week off of work. I'm doing a little staycation, reorganizing my pantry. I don't know, I might film some extra content, but honestly, if it's gonna cause me stress, I'm not gonna do it. And I think that's kind of my motto right now. I'm not gonna push myself too much because this is a time of year to relax and just enjoy the little things in life, and that's what I'm trying to do. It's really rainy here today. 
and it's not like I did some cleaning this morning but now I'm just like I just want to nap the rest of the day but um half of my sheets are washed and the other half still need to go in the washing but because I'm filming I don't want the machine on because it'll make noise so here we are welcome to real life that's where we are I also have no idea what to cook for dinner because I'm not going grocery shopping until tomorrow and I don't really have food so it might just be a pasta night Super exciting. Well, I enjoyed unboxing those two. I know you guys usually prefer the ones with a lot more boxes, but this time of the month, there just aren't a, lo a lot of boxes. So um, I just decided to unbox two today. Definitely let me know your thoughts on both of the boxes down below, and I'll see you in my next video.